When you're ready, we're recording. size of those cantaloupe what what what, what, what is that oh my goodness those are just huge tracts of land oh okay. sorry welcome to film speak <laughs> a little embarrassing there um, this is actually welcome back to film speak this is the first episode in 10 months i actually ended the show and then people just kept bugging me every time I'd frickin' go somewhere. Working with other filmmakers, social events with other filmmakers, convention with other filmmakers. All they'd ask me is, hey, Bill, great to see you. You're looking great. So when you bring it back, film speak. I got the hint, okay? Film speaks back. This is the first episode. I have... Uh, Jason Sherlow, one of my most frequent guests from the other three seasons. And uh, Jay Aaron, right? we uh, work with her all the time. She's also with Inner Demon Studios. So stay tuned. We're going to sit down, talk about what they've been up to, what projects they got going on, what do they think about filmmaking in the community. And then we're going to talk about the classic movie Back to the Future. So stay tuned. This evening will go so perplexing, in fact, that it's become somewhat of a legend. You know what? I'm getting so sick and tired of all these fuckers coming up here and hanging out and, like, looking for this grass man. I'm fat. I'm out of shape. And I'm a smoker. This is not going to work out. We'll be fine. I don't... You don't understand. So, there really is something out there. If I can prove it. You have to fucking Connor's dead! You have to listen to me! Can you bring 
I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, son. I'm gonna give you one fucking chance. One fucking chance! And if you don't fucking do it, your ass is a dead motherfucker. You got that? Yeah. Sunglasses. Oh, damn. Hey, we got. We are recording. It's you. It is, isn't it? I remember that picture. What's the matter? Afraid of clowns? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to come back here in an hour. If you don't have a reason why you're afraid of clowns, I'm going to kill your whole fucking family. Man! <laughs> Cliff knows all that. <laughs> Welcome to Film Speak. Here we are in another. Uh, crazy episode. Actually, um, as I said in the opening, this is the first episode of Film Speak. Uh, back after 10 months, I think, was the episode where I, I thought I had burned this bridge and that there was no going back, but uh, apparently there is no such thing. Yes. But uh, So here we are. I have back again one of my most frequent guests. Four times. Four times. <laughs> this is the fourth time. I hit a vest. This is, uh, best. so we have Jason Sherlow right next to him. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought my daughter off screen was saying something to me, but apparently she's talking to her boyfriend. <laughs> we have Aaron right next to him. Hello. Cliff Cash. Hey. Actor extraordinaire. That's uh, a producer and director, a writer and director and producer, and uh, an Cliff. actor and everything, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do makeup. Cliff, you guys yeah. are like me because, you know. Crazy. Cra well, crazy. Crazy, right? But where you got to do everything, we do. you know? We do it's cheaper. It is cheaper. You do it all yourself, and it's also more dependable sometimes. You get it that done way. right the first time That's this true. way. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm yeah. normally doing it three or four, five times. So yeah, I can't get it right the first time either. <laughs> well, I get sick of um, sometimes I fill so many positions in a film, and then I hate seeing J. B. Miller go by so many times yeah. in the credit. <laughs> so I start making up names. <laughs> and fitting it in there. You know, like if I do lights, I won't put that I did lights. I'll put T.E. Edison. There you go. You know? <laughs> so now I'm going to be looking at all the credits. The yeah, oh, you got to look for the credits. Because, mm -hmm. like, I, I was talking to um, Ryan Ashball uh, mm -hmm. last night. Um, I told him you got to watch out because I'm a Kentucky Fried Movie fan. So I will, at the bottom of credits, when they're all rolling out, just for shits and giggles, put the capital in Nebraska as Lincoln. I will just throw that in there just for the hell of it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and it's just for me. Watch the end of Grass Man. Watch the credits. Yeah, watch, <laughs> I, I will fit some shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I am editing Grass Man for these guys. It's uh, taken me so Seven far years. twice as long right. as I hoped it would be. But, you know, uh, life is a fucker, and uh, variables will bite you in the ass every time. It's true. But it's still coming along great. I am loving the movie. Uh, yesterday, uh, Rusty and I were editing it, mm -hmm. and there were just a few scenes where we would have to stop it. And, um, oh, damn, I had a mem I was going to make out of uh, Tori's hair. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, what are you going to do, Tori? Okay, my daughter just corrected me. It's mean. I thought it was Mimi. Is it Mimi? It's oh, not Mimi. Shit. It's meme. It's we've, meme. We've all been saying it wrong. Oh my goodness! Whole group of just uh, tardies Idiots, here. Yeah, we're yeah, here. yeah, yeah. We're 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 in the Special Olympics squad here. <laughs> <laughs> the Special yeah, Olympics of filmmaking. Yeah, I get bronze. In the Olympics, so. <laughs> Everybody gets a bronze. So we have Grass Man coming up. Yes. We do. Um, I know we have a couple of films in uh, pre-production that we're trying to get off the ground. Mm -hmm. Like. 27 of them. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I, I think between the two of us, we have like stacks and stacks of films. Yes. You know, look, if you want to invest in filmmaking for the local area, we could really use about yes. $5 million. Uh, five five million on the corner dollars. of the highway with a can. Yeah. <laughs> Just come by and throw change at him. Yeah. Hey, you can find me, right, standing on highway exits with a sign that says, we'll suck dick for movie fundage. He will. <laughs> Why do you think he's in our last movie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I could get a movie made, I will take the whole shaft, I will cut of the balls, I will swallow the goo, whatever it takes. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to be able to produce a movie. I want that shit up front. <laughs> wow. This is on like third shift, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do not this let is, the kids watch this. This is now this. a blue show. I, I was going to say, this is going to be one big long <laughs> <laughs> I completely changed the format because I knew you were going to be on, and I just wanted to have you in shits and giggles for the whole episode. It's working. <laughs> yeah, shits a lot. doing my best. <laughs> and giggles about it. Well, you know, we uh, and th this is just to talk about the seriousness and the problems that you can have when trying to do local productions because mm -hmm. uh, we were trying to make the movie Enclave, mm -hmm. which is a. I think it's the best script you've written so far. I That's really enjoyed it. I mean. Great yeah, character development, cool. great story arc, um, definitely a maturity and growth as an artist, and which makes it just hurt so much more when trying to get it made, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because it makes it hard. It's frustrating because you have this wonderful product, which I didn't write alone, you know, I had some help here. Um, but you have this like wonderful product. Um, it's for a great cause too. You know, it's raising awareness, and um, it should be funded. There should be no reason why you know we should. But it's have a funding, great you know. ghost story. Yeah, it you is. Know? We've you got a beautiful location. You know, the location is like spot on. Nailed yeah. it. You have all these wonderful things, just no money. Well, the it's problem stupid. we run into is um, at IDS. Beautiful shirt, by the way. Yay. Um, I refuse to do horror films where it's just tits and ass and fart jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. That's great. That's not our, you know, movies. Um, if you get on GoFundMe or Kickstarter, every time you see a fart joke, they're throwing money at it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to do a true story that that's a, it's going to be a great. Oh my goodness, this it is going to be great. Yeah. It's going to get done. Uh, I just need to hit the lottery. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's pe perseverance, mm -hmm. you know, because when people think about movie getting made, they think it's just like <laughs> movie, it's made. Right. Well, okay, Sometimes. Some, some are made like that. Yeah. Um, but the ones that really count, you know, they, they could take years to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I take a little, um, uh, I, my brain isn't working completely. I do not know why I'm doing the show today. Um, I take a little security in uh, David Lynch's first film, mm -hmm. Eraserhead. Took him four years to make it because he kept running out of money. He, he would go buy a roll of film, a 10-minute roll of film, go film that 10-minute roll of film, spend two months working until he could save up enough money to buy another roll, another roll. and yeah. then go out and shoot that roll. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. And that's four years of doing that. Mm -hmm. Thank God we have digital now. Right. <laughs> and then, I mean, well, look what we've done in three years. Uh, we've been open three years now. It's uh, three years in about a month. Um, and we've got seven films out now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Actually, one that you play a great role in, uh, Bad Fellows, just came out on DVD. Yeah, um, that was fun. Yeah, you uh, played a Russian, some kind of killer. Russian gangster boss type. Yeah. He fights a freaking bear. <laughs> <laughs> he loses. He fights a bear. It was, uh, that, that, that was a lot of fun. I, I tell you, one of my favorite roles that I have done, um, and I hate editing myself, but it is Grassman. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, I was watching. I made myself laugh last night. Oh, it's hilarious. That, that scene with you at the house is just like my favorite scene. Yeah, that's the movie. I, I just was love it. Yes, you have to I do the love laugh that. For him. You have to do the laugh for him. <laughs> I, well, I need the hair on the glass. It's even it's creepier than that. Right. The normal laugh. But what was hey, it? Angela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what was great is that um, the first day you showed up um, in character. We didn't know who you were at first. Yeah, I had no we're idea. We're like, who is that? And I mean, as I thought you got he was closer, on, like, to catch a predator or something. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> it's like maybe it's Boyong's dad. <laughs> I, I was thinking, but I it should... was great because you changed yourself completely for that role. Mm -hmm. Well, with with that with that clip, I feel like I should have like a little look, a little uh, commercial that says, uh, "I'm not a misogynist, but I play one on TV." <laughs> Very true. <laughs> It's been, it's been really busy. Um, I mean, obviously, we work with you on everything. Yeah. Uh, just got back from Horror Hound, which was amazing. Um, I remember most of it. Uh, <laughs> most a lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. I, I crapped out, okay? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll admit <laughs> this did. publicly on TV. Um, that first night, uh, watching uh, um, the guy who did um, Carpenter Scores, mm -hmm. yeah. went, went and watched him in a concert. Um, watch some morbid uh, burlesque show, yeah, some 
drank beer after beer <laughs> after beer. After that, I went and wandered from party to party. Next thing I knew, the sun was up. And uh, let me tell you, at 40, 40, 45? <laughs> <laughs> he may have fathered three children that night. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I could have, yeah. alone. Um, which explain that one. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Scraping it off the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I, I had the best time. I needed that so bad. Yeah, you were so time. worn out by the end of it. I was like, Bill, are you okay? You're like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I never stay up. I, 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 broke all, I broke all my rules. I broke all my rules, all the taboos. I never stay up past 12. I stayed up all night with no sleep. Really? I didn't know that that was I the thing never, for you. Never really? Do. I never drink, right? <laughs> and I, drink I, blue stuff. Yeah, I, I, well, you know, that's, that was the last time I had drank was Fright Night. Stuff. Fright last Night. Year. And, yeah, these cons are not good for my health. Um, <laughs> I thought we more cons. Yeah, I, I think I need more cons. Well, if I, if I do more cons, I'll build up a stamina, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. uh, be able to hang more. Well, bring your security. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get a shot of her just smiling over there. Now, Cliff, yeah. um, one, um, you know, what have you been up to? Because I know it's a lot of what we've been up to. But also with uh, the shirt that you were wearing. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I thought maybe you'd like to take a second to uh, let people know what that's all about. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, Based out of Cincinnati, it's uh, Steel Horses United Against Heroin. And all the proceeds and funds we raise goes to uh, getting people into rehab, uh, Children's Hospital, to help kids that are born with the addiction. Oh, yeah. And we just raised a lot of money at a thing I did, a fundraiser. And uh, I wore a Darth Vader dollars. costume all day and about died, but it was well <laughs> worth it. I met a lot of new cool people. And everybody kept asking me, when's this Grassman movie coming out? And I was like, well, it should be soon. Tell I'm them gonna... a story about uh, the little kid. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. I'm standing there, and I can't see out of this thing anyhow. And I'm dying. I'm like sweat stripping in my eyes. All of a sudden, I feel this little kid hug my legs. And I look down, and he goes, you know, I love you, even though you tried to take over the world. <laughs> and this kid's like four, and I'm like laughing inside this helmet. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I was like. Hey kid, it wasn't the world; it was the galaxy. Get it right, <laughs> you know. And it was just—it was cute, but um, it's a good thing. And then uh, Jason here donated some money, and uh, now we're part Enter Demon Studios of it, and it's for a good cause. And I've lost a lot of family members from that drug. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's really close to my heart to do something for it, and hopefully we can put an end to people dying from it. Well, uh, for people who aren't from this area. I don't know, maybe there's like five or six people who are going to check this out on YouTube who don't live in Ohio. Possible. <laughs> it's possible. A few people from Holland. We, we have a bad heroin problem uh, in the Dayton, yeah. Cincinnati area. Um, I, I think it goes hand in hand with the poor economy. But, you know, it also goes hand in hand, I think, with the high artistic. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's like the give and take of uh, pain and art yeah. that, that come mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. um, but heroin is a really bad problem. Uh, we lose people in this area daily from it. Uh, so just have some awareness. Um, check out. Yep. Uh, they are in the Harley Davidson stores if you want to pick up yep. a T-shirt or make a donation. Uh, I know they're in Cincinnati. I don't know if they're in Dayton yet, but uh, they will be. Yeah. yeah, we will be. We'll make them. We'll, 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 uh, we'll twist some arms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know um, a little off subject, I've been talking with somebody trying to work on a heroin documentary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when I talk to them again, maybe we can... Uh, join forces on yeah. that idea. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Anything to help awareness. I, I mean. okay. We get back home after party. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about it more. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, what, what's been going on. No problem. And so, um, okay, so we got Grassman coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, Bad Fellows just got... Just got released. Just got DVD. released on DVD. Uh, three Knee Deep. Three um, Knee Deep. Red Box, Best Buy, Walmart. It's amazing to go in these stores and see your movie on those shelves. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a beautiful thing. Well, that, that's uh, Rusty and I have talked about this a lot, that mm -hmm. uh, one of our dreams is to go to Walmart and find a movie in a bin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the just, $5 clearance bin. Well, look at the $5 <laughs> clearance bin and just be like, ah, oh, I'm worth $5. <laughs> I'm but it's, somebody. It's nice to get paid for your, yes. your art now. Yeah. Um, as long as we get paid a little more, a little yeah. more out there. Uh, you know, being able to pay the bills would be nice. Mm -hmm. Being able to make more movies, even fucking better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a, uh, a box full of scripts now. Uh, and I haven't even seen your box yet full of scripts, but we get a lot to, 
get moving, and hopefully we can get them started soon. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got five ready to go. I and then I think you guys mm -hmm. probably have about that many. Yeah, at least. And Cliff's just crazy mind is working constantly yeah, on constantly. slasher films. So. I never sleep, so. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. It's been three years now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we are film giants in our own minds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is definitely true. No doubt. So what, what should we be looking for? We're looking for the Enclave to coming up. We're going to be taking... We talk another crack at a uh, um, film yeah. we've tried to get made. Mac of the Possession, uh, Reinventing Brody. Aaron wrote uh, both amazing films. Kind of like a throwback to the 80s uh, teenage romance movies. Uh, it's going to be good. There's kind of a bit of that going around. There is. It's um, the best stuff, though. It they goes around like uh, herpes. Like yeah, it's all around. <laughs> well, you know, there, 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 were, there were good and bad with the 80s. There were you know? But more good. Yeah, I, 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 there's a lot of it that I like. I mean, there's a lot of it where uh, I'm glad it got left behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a half and half give yeah. and take. You only remember the stuff that was important to you. That's and then true. you go mm -hmm. back there and you're like, ooh, yeah. A lot of these things can relate this. to them, um, whether one way or another, uh, especially now. You know, I, I, I'm 39 now, just had a birthday. Um, and I, I see myself going back trying to get the stuff that I had as a kid. Um, I'm on a big Gremlins kick right now. Gremlins, Elmo. Uh, little stuff like that you think about when you're a kid. Yeah. Uh, now you now you want them, and well, especially it's hard to find. I, I mentioned this earlier. I think uh, I don't know in one of these episodes. It's all blending together. Um, <laughs> yeah, just say so you no. Know. But everything that I was ostracized for when I was in junior high and the early part of mm -hmm. high school is suddenly everything that is super cool now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marvel Comics, Star Wars. Okay, yeah. the, those were more important to me than anything because I hadn't had sex yet. You know, <laughs> up until like age 15 when I lost my virginity, Star Wars and Marvel Comics was my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's changed. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but now those things are cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you, ki kids aren't, um, you know... Uh, tortured by the maladjusted at school for having their Star Wars lunchboxes mm -hmm. anymore. I uh, recently went to Universal and I bought a, um, a Beetlejuice shirt. And every time I wear it, they went to classes again. Every time I wear it, people are, oh my God, Beetlejuice, are you excited for the new movie? And yes, I'm very excited for the new movie. But they better not mess it up. That's the thing. Like, they, they always mess it up, and I don't want them to mess it up. Well, it, it's, it, you have some key ingredients. You have a lot of the original people coming mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. um, but you see, Tim Burton... He has some greats, yeah. Maybe you know. Many, he has bad ones. Dark Shadows was just okay, no, you know. Okay. Plan, <laughs> Planet of the Apes deserves a nut punch. Mm -hmm. Somebody should Rochambeau him for making Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Actually, I think Cliff is planning that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll see about a convention someday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with I, him. I tell you what, we catch up with him, we'll flip for it. Okay. You know. You both get a nut. <laughs> 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 like punching bags. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tea bag. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Tea bags for everyone. <laughs> but you know, he, he does have some saving great. Did you see his latest film, Big Eyes? Uh, yes, actually, yes, I did. That, that was really good. I was it, surprised. It was a different kind of film mm -hmm. for him, and it was it was. Big eyes that gave me the hope for Beetlejuice. Now, that was a true story, though, right? That was a true story. Yeah. It was somebody that he had idolized, mm -hmm. the uh, Keats paintings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that had been a big effect on him as a kid, and so that's why he wanted to as make As of movie. every single movie he makes now looks like, you know, the big eyes. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, I'm excited for the new um, Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. I'm on the fence. Are you? Yeah. I'm going to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see it, but uh, I liked the first one. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, at the time, disagreed with uh, the girlfriend um, yeah. because uh, she did not like, uh, oh, brain fart, the White Queen. Uh, the Carter. Uh, what's her name? Helena Bonham Carter. Is that who you're talking about? No, no, she was the Red Queen. The White Queen. Um, I Enchanted. He, I think he's drunk. Um, <laughs> he's hold drunk. on. Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. Anne Hathaway. Street. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Yes. <laughs> Anne Hathaway. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I thought she was great in that. Mm -hmm. Of course, I think Anne Hathaway's pretty great. Yeah, in the cat suit. 
Though I, I have to say that uh, she was uh, nowhere near to me. Oh, man, I didn't mention it. Anyways. Yeah, you know, I would mention it, but it's in a future episode. And then that brings no, in the whole... Do, no, you can't do this. That, you that cannot bring, do that this. That brings the no. whole time travel. You're going to end it. You can't do this. We're you doing have a to. Back to the Future episode. We're going to go back. Anyways, I just wanted to say I have the hots for E.G. Daly. <laughs> you guys know who E.G. Daly is? No. no. Mm -mm. Um, Dottie from uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Mm -hmm. She was in Valley Girl. Yeah. She was the singer of the band in Better Off Dead. Really? Um, you have the she was also in Devil's Rejects. Okay. She was the hooker who dressed up um, as Princess Leia, had her hair done as Princess yeah. Leia. Like she, is, <laughs> she is also the voice of uh, Tommy from he's, Rugrats. He's oh, really? And she is also uh, from Powerpuff Girls. So the, 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 the cartoon or the new one coming out? The uh, cartoon. Oh. So the new one is going to be live action or something I like that? I have no idea. My, my daughter, I didn't know it was coming out till no. today when my daughter mentioned it. Is mm. it a cartoon? She's pretty sure. Yeah. It's all accounts. Madison said it's horrible. <laughs> she didn't like it. Huh? Is it? As long as they didn't mess it up. Cause, uh, they, they messed that up, too. Like, you know they did. You know they did. They messed know, everything up. This goes to show how pathetic I was. Because in the 90s, you know, I know all these cartoons that the kids watched. Yeah. And I'll be talking to them. They're like, well, wait a minute. You're like 15 years older than me. It's like, yeah, I was in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Johnny Bravo and well, Dexter's Lab and yes, Animaniacs and Freakazoid. You know, Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. The greatest cartoon ever. Ah. Uh, not Come 80s on. cartoons. Not no, I, no, no. I see. I'm thinking because I love like Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab is pretty good. There's <laughs> an episode of Dexter's Lab. They had a contest where you could write an episode of Dexter's Lab. Really? And a six-year-old won it. Really? And uh, what the six-year-old did was he didn't write it out. He recorded it into a tape recorder. And then they used the sound from him telling the episode as the whole sound for the episode. And they just drew along with it. Really? Huh. And it is beautiful. Little bastard. <laughs> and, yeah. Wait, did it look like a, um, did it look like, I know it's a cartoon, but did they make the cartoon look like a cartoon when they did this? Because yeah. like, I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I think because I've seen it, that. It, it would just be like, and Dexter says. Yeah, I think so. I think I've seen that. And then that. Mandrake says, and he'd go. Yeah. And they'd never say anything because the kid would just get caught up in himself trying to describe the story. <laughs> so uh -huh. if you get a chance. It's a, it's a really great one. That's up there with uh, the Powerpuff Girls where all they say is Beatles lines. Every line they say in the whole episode is a line from a Beatles song. Really? really? Yeah, just little shit like that. Yeah, I never got too far into the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> yeah. I watched a lot of cartoons. <laughs> I like Ryan and Stimpy. Yes. Well, okay. Stimpy. <laughs> only, <laughs> only the first 11 episodes. Yeah. Okay, because that was uh, John Kersasafat's I probably mispronounced his Chris name. Chris Sassafat. So. John K. We'll just say John K. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was one of the two original creators, and then they fired him after 11 episodes. Why? Creative differences. But his 11 episodes are the best. <clears throat> That's Space Madness, Fire yeah. Dogs. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, all, all the best ones yeah. were the ones that he did. Hmm. And I never liked Ren and Stimpy after that. I think we went on a tangent. We did. We did. We did. We did. <laughs> well, I think we'll wrap up now. And then uh, be right back and talk about some. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna mainly talk about Back to the Future one, but uh, we'll talk about uh, the other ones too because you can't. They're just, all back. And, yeah, you, yeah. You, you you can't just leave it at one. Mm -hmm. Except for three, don't worry about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, then there's four. Oh, that hasn't come out yet. That's actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what was it? Jaws nineteen. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And they wrongly predicted the Cubs. <laughs> yeah. I had hopes. Well, we'll be back in just a minute. Thank you very much. It wasn't that fun. Yes, it was. No. Did, I, did I make a huge ass out of myself? No, but it was. No I was embarrassed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? Let's discuss a trend that people are talking about. It's like something like it's current, but it's always been there. And that is the remakes. Now, remakes have been going on since they started making movies. I mean, uh, Shop Around the Corner was actually a remake, but I can't remember the original because it wasn't as good as Shop Around the Corner. 
Anyways, but Shop Around the Corner has been remade every 10 to 20 years. I think the last one being You Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. <sighs> now, there are some good things with remakes. Now, personally, I want to remake Gunga Den because that is the like grandfather of all action movies. Every action movie that you can think of, Indiana Jones, Alan Quartermain, not necessarily action, but action adventure, you know? They all go back to Gunga Den. That is a movie that needs remade. You know, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., Cary Grant, it's a freaking good movie. What doesn't need to be remade? Big Trouble in Little China, okay? I tell you what, I've got a baseball bat with Dwayne Johnson's name written on the top of it because I'm going to break somebody's head if they mess up a movie so freaking precious to me. I mean, Big Trouble in Little China, they're going to make uh, Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, Highlander. I mean, come on. As bad as Highlander 2 was, you think they wouldn't touch it. <sighs> All I'm saying is remakes aren't necessarily a bad thing. Cape Fear, Martin Scorsese's version of Cape Fear, was in some ways superior to the original. But you don't touch Big Trouble in Little China. Fucking really. Okay, my rant's done. That's all I have to say. Think wisely, Hollywood, about your remakes, okay? Because I tell you what, I was going to kamikaze suicide bomb your ass when I heard that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez was going to make, remake Casablanca, okay? Somebody was going to freaking die for that picture. Luckily, they came to their senses. Never happened. But if it had happened, I'd be in jail right now for murder, okay? Because you don't touch Casablanca either. All right, now I'm done. I promise. Go home. Or stay tuned. Whatever. You don't have to cut it, or you can cut it, or we'll just get right to it. We did go on a long tangent. Didn't we? We That's did. okay. And I was going to bring no. up Thundercats. Aren't you glad I didn't? <laughs> I love Thundercats. Could have tossed I, for I had a thing for Tigra. Okay. You'd have been naked. I, 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 I used to... Uh, Used to watch Thundercats with a blanket over me. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with him? <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? Years. Mm. You know what's funny is the number of people who will be like, who think I'm just like this for show. But no, you're no, actually I mean? really yeah. just no, no, like I am really like really this all the fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Default. laughs> I look normal, you no. know? Well, I think when I have a fro and a beard, I look yeah. more like my real personality. Yes. Because when agree. the hair is cut short and I look clean cut, boy, is that it's false. It's very, yeah, it's false advertising. It's false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Women it's like, stay it's away. like teasing. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. All right, um, I guess we're going to uh, start now talking about. Uh, I'm probably going to use that whole segment. I'll just fit that in there somewhere. No, right. <laughs> that was pretty good. good. Three hour episode. Three hour episode. Yeah. It's shit. your first one. You got to come back with a bang. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. And hey, if I can't fill it with us talking about just meaningless bullshit, bullshit. then why I have my this own is show? your <laughs> show. You can do whatever you want. What else does film speak for? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scene. Um, here we are talking about Back to the Future. Well, Back to the Future, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future, maybe 3. <laughs> maybe. Did you see the, the parody for number 4? I have not seen the parody for number 4. It is fantastic. I'll send I sent it <clears throat> to somebody and they didn't watch it. Oh. No, it's great. They must they spent money on this because it's got everybody in it and it, it and it ends with Marty the AG is now, you know, Michael J. Fox saying, do you want to ride? With the glasses, it's great. I, I, they would be so fantastic if they did a number four. Don't even say no. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to work. Well, you know, if we can pass enough stem cell research stuff and get Michael J. Fox uh, rolling again, I, we can make it happen. Yeah. Just give him a joint or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can hook that up. <laughs> 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 we do some of that. I know. Back to the Future. Um, let's see. I think, uh, how many saw it in the theater? I did. 
I'm not old enough. Yeah, okay. I, I had a feeling that I, I uh, was, I was out, like nine. Out, or yeah, something. you were like <laughs> nine. I was in high school. I think I was a freshman in high school. Huge for the fourth time. On me. Yeah, yeah. I, I went and saw it like many times in the theater. Mm. Did it have a, that as big as impact on you? Have, had, had you seen, seen anything like it? I've seen it one like time it? in the theater, and then it wasn't really my kind of movie because I like scary movies yeah. and slasher movies. But, I mean, to this day, I find myself going up to my kids all the time, like my son Julian, and I'll just smack him on the head and go, hey, McFly. I mean, <laughs> there's just stuff that's stuck with you from the movie, classic lines. And <laughs> things, things, classic lines, your mom hitting on you. <laughs> yeah, that so happens. A little, bit, little bit of a creep there. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was, That's actually it why was good Disney uh, declined the movie. Uh, really? It was originally pitched to like eight different studios, and uh, Disney loved it, but they declined <coughs> because of the whole son-daughter incest type thing going on. Well, you know, that that's like the, the terror of time travel. Mm -hmm. you knock, up, knock up your own mom. <laughs> yeah. No, no, <laughs> that, would, no. that would uh, destroy the time continuum yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah, you go back in time, get all fucked up at Woodstock. You know, <laughs> next thing you know, you you pregnated your mom and aunt and three women you didn't even know. <laughs> yep, he's on that list. <laughs> I've thought about time travel before. <laughs> Just to pregnate your mom. That's weird. It's the hazards of it. That's wait, so wait, what's, horrible, what's that called? A paradox? Yeah. You know, that would be the vagina paradox. <laughs> that would. Wow. And scene. <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen any of the original footage? Because they, they've kind of leaked it out lately since mm -hmm. it's the anniversary. With Eric Stoltz. With Eric Stoltz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yep. amazing how much they, not they look alike, but the scenes are like identical, perfect. Well, you know, some of the scenes shot with Eric Stoltz were used in the original cut. Where he dives in the car when the terrorists are shooting at him. Yep. Yep. If you slow it down, you can see. Eric. Well, and they, they use some of the, uh, the cutaways. Where they would just they would just film the Michael J. Fox part, mm -hmm. and then they would use the dirty over Eric Stoltz's shoulder mm -hmm. at Doc <clears throat> when um, he punches Biff in the diner. Uh, that's Eric. That's Eric Stoltz's mm -hmm. hand. Well, you know, he got paid for the three weeks he was there. That's kind of shitty, though. No, that, I, that, yeah, that would make me really mad. Be like, um, that's my hand, not Michael J. Fox's hand. Well, you they, know, I mean. They so he's got the still on the wall, a big poster. <laughs> they, 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 pay, they paid him for the three weeks. I think the shitty part about it is um, they didn't? T they knew he was going to be replaced mm -hmm. after him being on set for the first week. They yeah. knew they were going to replace him with Michael J. Fox. They let him work another two weeks without telling without him until yeah. Michael J. Fox was available. Mm -hmm. And that—that's shitty. That is, that is shitty. Yeah, yeah that's that bad, is. You know? We've all had parts cut though. Yeah, not yeah. over. You know, and they didn't know that movie was gonna be that big back then. So, yeah, and it did. It did blow up. Mm -hmm. I, I think they originally were predicting that it would kind of fail. But it was the biggest um, biggest one at the box office. Uh, the biggest movie of 1984. Yeah. 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 yeah, over uh, Rocky IV was in part of that. And yep. Yeah, the uh, biggest one ever. And, and actually, they didn't know how well it was going to do. So where it says you could be continued at the very end, only showed up on the VHS release at the video stores. Wow. It's not on the DVD release. It's not on the theatrical release or anything. So. That I did not know. I learned something. <laughs> I know way too much yeah, about oh this yeah, movie. Oh, yeah, he's full of, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's, a, that's a good thing. You know, they uh, interviewed Ralph Macchio to play that part, too. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went. Michael J. Fox was the best choice. Yeah, so. he was. He really was. Well, his, his sad, like I said, I know too much. But the original, he was the original <laughs> choice. It was completely changed up, written for him. But he was on Family Ties. And Couldn't get out of contract. the director would, would not let him do both, and which he ended up doing both. Filming from like six in the morning until two in the morning, you know, for three or four weeks. Yeah, which uh, that, that's what, that's a game that only a young man can do. Mm -hmm. I've tried to do them before. It's rough. Yeah. <laughs> when we did the mime, I mean, that was some late night shoots, and then I had to be at work at six in the morning. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ouch. Mm -hmm. That's Crazy. a filmmaker's life. Yeah, true. <coughs> Poor filmmaker's life. Yeah, <laughs> Poor filmmaker's <laughs> life. Yeah, well, when we get rich enough to have lackeys, mm -hmm. you know, and minions and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it might get it might get a little easier. Um, there were some other weird things with the movie that they, um, after it was done, when they were done, it was released nine and a half weeks later. Uh, they, they bumped it up to be released, uh, I believe it was July 4th weekend, when it wasn't supposed to come out until August. So that's wow. Crazy stuff, which we you know about I that. I think I saw it July 4th weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That movie, what, I think the same year Goonies came out, too. 
Good. Yeah, good. That was a that was another big one for that's me. Whole, that, <laughs> that's film it. speak next season. Yes, I, I think Goonies is one of the few movies that I ever walked out of the theater, loved it so much that I went back in and just watched it again. You snuck oh back my goodness, in. Yeah. yeah. Did you pay or did you sneak back? I snuck back in. Mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> Buy one. Get I, one I did that with Willow too. Do you guys remember Willow? Willow? Yes, I love Willow. My friend, my friend Doug and I um, went and saw Willow like first showing in the morning. And we get my house and we make fluffernutter sandwiches and we're hanging out drinking. Wait, 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 what kind of sandwiches? Fluffernutter. It is a stoner's delight. Okay, bread, <laughs> peanut butter, can of the jars of marshmallow fluff, <gasps> and bread. Nom, 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 <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Any real pot smoker knows about Mountain Dew and Fluffernutter sandwiches. Just say no, God. <laughs> Just say no. Not <laughs> drug. Oh, marijuana is not a drug. I suck dick for Coke. You ever suck dick for marijuana? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just him and uh, what's the guy from Full House? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just you and the dad from Full House. Bob Saget. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Saget will suck dick for coke. That's bad. You don't know about that? No. <laughs> back to Back to the Future. <laughs> we'll go back. And oh, my goodness. We'll get, off, we'll get off track one more time, come back, and then we'll be done, I promise. <laughs> no, it, w wonderful movie. Uh, it's one of the movies that... <clears throat> There's a million lines you can just every day. Anybody oh, yeah. says anything. Oh my gosh! You know? Oh, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. What is it about the future, Marty? It's why is everything so heavy? <laughs> <laughs> Which I love Taxi, and yeah. I was so happy Taxi that Taxi was uh, awesome. Uh, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd broke out from that, mm -hmm. and because actually, um, before Back to the Future, I believe he did Star Trek Three. Yeah. Search for Spock. Yeah, Search for Spock, yeah, Search for Spock where he, he played, a uh, played a Klingon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which just blew me away. And then, you know, but it was, it was the, the uh, doc mm -hmm. that made him a household name. That's true. Yep. Then mm -hmm. that actually got him the part when, um, as the bad guy. I don't remember his name in it, but um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, yeah. 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 The freaking eyes yeah. that came. Yeah. Did he sound like this? <laughs> he sounded just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, another great movie. Yeah, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, because I, I, I think the thing I found most mind-blowing about it was seeing Warner Brother characters and Disney characters all in together. the same frame. Together. Will never happen again. Never happen again. Actually, did it happen in... Um, Toon, the Toon Squad. Do they have Disney characters in that too? I didn't. I don't think so. Hmm. That's a shame. Out. Yeah. So somebody. Uh, somebody let us know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Space Jam. Yeah. Space Jam. All right. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. See, I told you. <laughs> um, <laughs> keep going. He already said he wanted to make out with his mom and everything. <laughs> so, Back to the Future. The Back to the Future Two came out. My favorite. They lied yeah. a lot, but my favorite. They lied a lot. Yeah, hoverboards. Cubs. Yeah, the hoverboards we got out now aren't real hoverboards. Yeah, they catch on fire. And <laughs> yeah, the, the self-tying tennis shoes, they, they really don't self-tie. They do now. They do now. Nike has a pair. They were $300. They just came out. Um, when you step bucks. down, they tightens them for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is pretty neat. We're getting there, I suppose. We are. Yeah. Now, now would, would you have done the whole thing of taking the uh, the... The book of the, all the past the 50 years oh, of winning. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I'd give a shit. <laughs> yeah, we would have been paid. Now, you see, I wouldn't have done that. I would have gone to the library. I would have looked up just one huge lottery winning day and then gotten those winning ticket numbers. <laughs> <laughs> in, in 1955. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, but, no, no, 1986. Yeah. You know? But what was it about? Eighty thousand dollars back then. <laughs> it's way up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I this won. That's true. I'm broke again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And if I would have gotten that money when I was sixteen, I just would have blown it all anyways. Mm -hmm. On yeah. fluffernutter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on fluffernutter. Exactly. It would have been like Brewster's millions. <laughs> <laughs> you get a car. You get, you a, get car. a car. Yeah. You get a car. What? Hook a motor to a um, a glacier and drive it to the Sahara? I'll put money on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we were just watching some behind the scenes things where um, instead of having the DeLorean, the original one was a refrigerator that ran on plutonium that 
And um, he decided not to use that because he thought kids would try to get in the refrigerator and do something stupid, which they used later on in Indiana Jones Part 4 mm. or 5. What was four. the newest one? The four. crystal yeah. skull thing yeah. that nobody Horrible. saw. Horrible. I did not they like that movie. They could have gone somewhere with that, though, because I like the idea the of the aliens. crystal skull. Okay, they, they, they brought, they brought yeah, No, but like they didn't develop it right. They brought the woman back. You know, they brought, uh, yeah, Karen, that, which they brought was great. Karen Allen that. back, which was just awesome. Yeah, it was. Um, it had Kate Blanchett, who's one of my favorite actresses. Mm -hmm. It had all all the elements that should have been good, and um, they dropped the ball with the story. We will have to Rochambeau Steven yes. Spielberg. For oh yeah, we'll line up him and Tim Burton. <laughs> and cut shots to both of mm -hmm. them. Hell yeah! Yes. Those are two hours of my life I can't get back. Thanks for taking another piece of my childhood, bending it over a pinball machine like Jodie Foster, and making me the. You <laughs> went that far. <laughs> went that far. <laughs> Just go that far. Oh my god. And this is his real character, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is he is not acting right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like this all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Insanity. Uh, no, Back to the Future was great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just get back to He's trying to, to save it. it. Yeah. He is trying. trying to keep us on point. It's just not they working. They paid Chuck Berry $50,000 for his song. <clears throat> um, they paid Chuck Berry $50,000 50, for that? He uh, saw it and decided he didn't want it in there. And um, they wrote him a check for $50,000. He said, ah, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Google that stuff. But you, you know, which is a shame because that, that made the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It did. You know, it was just, it's, it one of those, it's one of those iconic scenes. You know, because before that, they're playing the, the Sea of Love type song. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he's fading. And yes. And pops up and then the picture's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things they were arguing about at the, uh, with the whole nine week from, you know, finished production to getting ready to go. Um, it's, he, they're not happy with some of the scenes, you know, yeah. where the hand is really cheesy. Even for back then, it's really cheesy looking. Um, it'd be nice if they could, re, you know, refix that now. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to leave it just the way it is. Okay. Yeah. You, you can't Spielberg it replacing the machine well, right, guns, right. you know, with, uh, You're right. with walkie talkies and stuff. You got to leave it the way it was. Yeah, I guess so. It means too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I guess I'm done running all over the place. Tiki's, Tiki's asleep behind the camera. <laughs> I think that's a good sign showing that we should probably wrap this up. Yep. Thank you guys for coming on my no first problem. episode back. Yay. Thank oh, you yeah. for having us. Thank I you really for having love us. you guys. We love you. Yeah, we love I'm you looking too. forward to, uh, we're going to go back to the house, watch the ref edit of uh, Grassman. Yes. Eat some Fluffernutter. Eat some Fluffernutter. Maybe drink a little. Smoke make some bad decisions together. Listen mm -hmm. to me say fuck way too many times. Yes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hopefully my the line trailer in the movie. made it into this episode. It's <laughs> my line yes. in the movie. Yes, we'll have the trailer for that, and uh, we'll fit some trailers from maybe Bad Fellas, a yeah. couple other things in. Yeah. The Enclave trailer is still out. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, the Enclave teaser, so you can see the Enclave teaser. And see how and wonderful it is see and how, how it should be produced. Is. And then donate some money to us. Yes, yeah. Yeah. please. Look, we, we're only looking for 50000 would be good, but I think we can make it for thirty if we yes, really try. Yes, I agree. So, yes. so fifty would be good, but you know, we're talking a feature film for $30,000. Yeah. Professionally made in Ohio. Cough it up, people. Professionally is loose. And, and remember, Bill's offering services, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, you give enough, I'll aim to please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Oh, come on, that was a great show. I mean, Jason Sherlow. We had Aaron on. I think I made them laugh. I might have embarrassed them a little bit. At least I hope I did. You know, if you're going to come on this show, I'm going to put you through the grinder, let me tell you. Oh. oh, God, I'm losing it. I tell you what, never do a show when you're sick. But you know what? Fuck it, the show must go on. Anyways, the show's over, so I guess it doesn't have to. So uh, come back next week, and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you very much for joining us on Film Speak. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Who's that? 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 Who's that?